Hi, and welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mass Problem of the Week. This week, the problem is find a function y of x satisfying the differential equation in the initial condition. Uh, the differential equation is dy over dx is equal to x times the square root of x squared plus 9. And the initial condition is that y of negative 4 is equal to 0. Um, so what we can immediately see is that the integral of dy is equal to the integral of x times the square root of x squared plus 9 dx. Um, so just looking at this integral, what we can then do is use u substitution to simplify it and then solve. Um, so using u substitution, we can say that u is equal to x squared plus 9, um, this kind of term within the square root. Um, therefore, du is equal to 2x dx. And switching some things around uh, to make it fit this integral a little better, we can get that 1 half du is equal to x dx. Now, substituting those in, what we get um, is pulling out this 1 half of the 1 half du. On the outside of the integral, we get 1 half times the integral of u to the 1 half from the square root um, du. And this is a pretty simple integral to solve. We get 1 half times 2 over 3u to the 3 over 2 plus c. Um, and obviously, part of this cancels out, and we're left with 1 third u to the 3 over 2 plus c. And now we can use the initial condition to solve for what c is equal to, and then solve for what y of x is equal to. So we first substitute back in what u is equal to. So we get 1 third um, times x squared plus 9 to the 3 over 2 plus c. Now we're going to substitute in y of negative 4 to solve for c. So substituting in negative 4, um, what we get is 1 third times negative 4 squared plus 9 to the 3 over 2 plus c um, is equal to 0. Simplifying a little bit, we get 1 third times 25 to the 3 over 2 plus c is equal to 0. And uh, continuing, we then get 1 third times 125 plus c is equal to 0. So therefore, c has to be equal to negative 125 over 3. And what you'll notice is here where we solve the integral, there's already a 1 third pulled out. So what we can do is uh, where we're actually going to add in that 1 third is just pull the 1 third out of negative 125 over 3 um, to the outside of the full terms. So pulling the one-third out, what we're left with is that y of x is equal to one-third times x squared plus 9 to the 3 over 2 minus 125. So that's all we have for you today for this week's Problem of the Week. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Please check out some more of our videos on YouTube, check us out on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter. Thank you.